do you feel in control of your life or the things that are happening around you are controlling your life? Is this an accurate depiction of your life? Feeling a little out of control? Let's find out. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel Sing Speaks. Hope you're having a great time. If not, then ask yourself, are you accepting yourself the way you are? If not, then you are certainly not in control. What is control? This may not be perfectly designed, but I came up with this acronym for control. Control is a basic human emotional need. When we start to lose our sense of control over day-to-day -day events, we start to lose ourselves. Many mental illnesses are born out of experiencing a loss of control, which often starts with a bit of stress and it's not always doom and gloom. There are times when it begins to fade, that loss of control, that pain in the mind that resonates to the chest. There are moments where you begin to feel that faint glimmer of happiness. Then life comes crashing down and the pure feeling of hopelessness rises like a dark phoenix from the ashes. Now you're lost again, wishing you had some light. Often there is a perceived lack of control. The reality is that with an open mind and a refreshed perspective, you can regain control and focus your energy on the parts of life that you can control. See, control is something we all seek. But sometimes it becomes easy to fall into obsessing over that search for control. And this is a normal thing because uh, it can happen if anything around you is not controllable. But remember, forces beyond your control can take away everything you possess except one thing, your freedom to choose how you will respond to the situation. So, a helpful exercise is to categorize your stresses into things that you have no control of and things which you can. Like this. Sometimes you need another person to talk through this with and stop you from catastrophizing. Once you have the list, you can just uh, dispose of all those things which are not in your control because these are not worthy of your precious time and energy. So just do anything with them, just burn them, scribble over them or throw them away because these need not be in your mind. And now you are free to focus your actions and energy on the things that you can control, such as how you choose to feel right now. So these are some of the things that I can't control and things that I can control. Today we are living in a time of uncertainty, fear and panic. But we need to understand that some things are not in our control no matter how hard we try to control them. Just take an example of COVID-19 or any personal experiences you've had uh, like uh, you know stuck in the past due to some bad experience and you're not able to move on and you're not able to live in the now and uh, allowing ourselves to be impacted by what others think of us. We can't control our past experiences or what others think of us, but we definitely have the power to control our reactions and our responses towards the things around us. Focusing on things that are not under our control will harm only our health and internal world, causing us to live in a state of anxiety and evoking the feelings of scarcity. Nothing else is going to change. If we keep on allowing the external factors to impact upon us, it will harm ourselves only. Emotions again play a vital role. Uh, they are like weather systems, right? Like uh, which helps, which can't be controlled. But that lack of control doesn't make you inadequate. It just means that you're human. So I have observed some things in the past. So I would like to share it with you. Uh, first, if somebody doesn't respect your relation with them, then you won't prevent them from doing something disrespectful. Second, sometimes you have to let somebody fall and make his own mistakes. Third, you can't obviously control the natural cycle of life, but you can definitely appreciate each and every little moment that you spend with someone. Last but not the least, accidents and diseases happen. But if we still live in a world where it is so easy to kill us, 
then definitely there is a plan for us, isn't it? So just using this awareness and focusing on the things that we can control, for example, our behavior, our thoughts, our responses, our well-being, we may not control the outcome, but definitely we'll be able to take care of how we feel about ourselves and our inner worlds. We will be in control of how we feel without allowing anyone or any experience to just ruin it or to make us feel down or to make us feel depressed. So the key to happiness is just simply embrace the most difficult emotions of your life such as fear, anxiety, worries and jealousy. This is called radical acceptance which involves confronting life as it is rather than how you wish it should be. So the next time you're dealing with a difficult situation, just ignore the urge to reject your worst feelings because that will only trigger the negative feedback cycle which will make your emotions even more stronger. So with this radical acceptance, you just experience the bad emotion and just move on. So with this, believe me, we are going to generate a strong sense of peace and calm in amidst this chaos which is surrounding us. And who wouldn't want that? Peace of mind, peace of our soul, that's what we all want, right? So with this, I would like to end my part and I'll sign off. And you, stay positive, stay happy and stay healthy.